Loss is the most unfiltered truth of life. As we grow older, we come to terms with it as we lose our friends, family and loved ones. It's never easy, but eventually we have to come to terms with it, confront it and accept it because the flow of time is harsh and it waits on no one. Yesterday we lost probably one of the most influential person for our generation. Rest in peace legend. You will forever be in our hearts. And honestly speaking, this loss feels personal. I mean, I know this kind of sounds weird and to some people it might even sound hypocritical when I say that this loss feels more personal than the others. I kind of have a hard time expressing these feelings which I currently have. But the only thing which I can say here is that I had a similar kind of feeling and emotional outtake upon loss back in 2017 when the world lost Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Again, that loss was also very personal for me for certain different reasons. And people might say again that all of these things are quite hypocritical that why are you even thinking about a star when we never even got to actually interact with these people. But sometimes coping with loss, coping with pain is different for other people. And for me personally, I'm only going to give my example here. I began listening to songs with these people. I started listening to songs before the internet days, before I had a proper laptop or computer with Bluetooth and small phones. I started listening to Hindi songs which are mostly about KK and Sonu Nigam. I'm talking about songs from the early and late 2000s which the entire era was dominated, let's be honest, by KK himself. And these songs were just absolutely fabulous. From Pal to Yaro Dosti, these were just the most influential songs that every person from our generation basically grew up with. And the same was the case with Lincoln Park as well. Lincoln Park was probably the first English band whose songs I started listening as a kid. So both of these people had a very distinct connection to me personally and how I grew up eventually, how my taste grew in art, music and culture in general. So even though I never actually got the chance to meet these people or attend the live concerts, I had a different connection with them, a connection of heart, a connection of unyielding love. That's basically what I want to talk about here because loss is different for different people. Everyone takes loss differently and it's not a constant here, it's a human emotion. And I just wanted to make this video to quickly convey my emotions over this entire phenomenon because for the last 24 hours, I just felt pathetic because these are the songs which I grew up with and the person who made these songs, who created these fabulous songs, he is no more. And I'm just getting flashbacks to 2017 when I heard the news of Chester Bennington's death for the very first time and it was devastating man. Just sitting in front of my old computer from Windows XP and listening to In The End to Yaad Aayenge Apple with the entire Windows Media Player, you know, music visualizations of Windows Media Player and Winamp. Those feelings, those are surreal and I'm just gonna miss them. I am definitely gonna miss them. Thank you so much legend for everything that you have done and it's just a sad reality of life that we have to accept at this moment. Thank you so much KK for everything. You not only inspired a generation but your music surpassed the barriers of generation, time, linguistic barriers and many many things more. Thank you so much for everything. We are going to miss you definitely but you will forever be an important part of our heart.